Hello and welcome everyone. So I'm going to do a brief video here on fructose and why it really potentially gets a bad rap. First off, for those of you that don't know, uh, fructose is a, hex is a hexose sugar found especially in honey and fruit. And then if you look over here, fructose or fruit sugar is a simple ketonic monosaccharide found in many plants where it is often bonded to glucose to form the disaccharide sucrose. So basically when it when this is absorbed directly in, into the bloodstream during digestion people think that this particular fruit sugar is identical to high fructose corn syrup with the effects and that is not true high fructose corn syrup also known as glucose fructose see how it may be kinda similar for some people they don't really understand they're not educated they think that fructose from high fructose corn syrup is the same as fructose in fresh fruit and that is not the same this is bad for your body bad for your liver no matter what and I want people to understand that this is in almost pretty much everything that people eat ketchup um, and many other processed foods and other condiments that's just the way it is um, there are brands and versions you can get without of course they're substantially more expensive anything in this world that is natural is expensive that's just that's just the way it is today so you might be wondering okay James so what happens with insulin resistance so insulin resistance is something that is very common in a lot of people there's basically three million people that have insulin resistance okay so insulin resistance is when your cells in your muscles body fat and liver start resisting or ignoring the signal that the hormone insulin is trying to send out and basically that is to grab glucose out of the bloodstream put it into our cells glucose is known as blood sugar and is the body's main source of fuel so basically uh, a resistance to the hormone insulin resulting in, in increasing blood sugar hence diabetes so let's say you eat five meals a day, which is the majority out there. Personal trainers tell you to eat five meals a day. Everybody tells you to eat five meals a day. Why do you think that they tell you to eat five meals a day? Because they think you're not going to get enough protein and you're going to lose your muscle mass, which I'm going to show you here in a moment. It's completely bogus. It does the opposite. So this particular person, they're showing an example, um, obviously looks a little bit overweight. And I talked about your ideal weight before in my... Uh, previous video that your body can balance out when you're eating the right foods and also if you're doing intermittent fasting and this is how you avoid type 2 diabetes so it builds up in the blood the glucose and this is what eventually leads to type 2 diabetes so, so you're wondering okay James how do I fix that well that's the intermittent fasting I've been talking about so much for the past over the past year and this is the best insulin resistance diet to help your cells respond to insulin so if you're eating five meals a day all you're doing is pumping in all of this insulin and your body's like okay what the heck and then you might be wondering well James what if I don't eat any fructose it doesn't matter you could eat a, a carrot you're still gonna you're still gonna have this problem every time you eat it raises your insulin. It doesn't matter what you eat, it matters how many times. So if I eat once a day and I eat all my food in one meal, and it's not this thing where people think, oh my gosh, James is eating one meal, he just cut out all the other food and that's, you know, that's what's happening. No, that's not what's happening. Um, I look pregnant after I'm done eating because I eat so much, so much food in one meal because I'm used to it. I've trained my body and I'm eating probably more than the average person that's eating five meals a day in one meal so basically what's happening is now I'm fasting the rest of the day 
and I'm not pumping in all of this insulin. So insulin resistance, as I talked about before, is when the insulin tells your cells that fuel is coming and um, they don't open up to receive glucose. So sugar stays in the bloodstream. And after a while, your body stores it as fat, which is very true. Uh, I, I can't tell you uh, how many times I would gain fat no matter what I ate if I ate five or six meals a day. And this is back when I was uh, obviously younger, and this was another big cause of my problems. Uh, hence, kidney, liver problems made them worse. So keep this in mind that the intermittent fasting um, and the 16-8 is, is for beginners where you fast for six, 16 hours and you eat in an 8 hour window but I'm up to around at least where I'm at 20 to 21 hours a day um, where I'm only eating in a 3 to 4 hour window one huge meal I mean it, it's less than that but I'm just estimating it's really about 2 or 3 hours so that's where I'm at took some time to build up to that. So you might be wondering when we're James, why do I want to also do intermittent fasting? I'm going to lose all of my muscle. As I just mentioned before, that's not possible. Intermittent fasting for strength athletes increases um, what's called human growth hormone, HGH. I'm sure you've heard a lot of bodybuilders, they take it, and they take testosterone. Um, testosterone uh, is produced naturally in the body and once you start taking it with injection the same same with human growth hormone it starts affecting things if you take human growth hormone and it's you know something that you're pumping into your body that's not natural it makes your heart grow your other organs grow that's bad you don't want your heart to grow that's called an enlarged heart that's going to cause more problems down the line so that is why you don't want to do it artificially now HGH has been shown to increase as much as five times over and this is with the intermittent fasting. This hormone is produced by the pituitary gland and increases glucose levels and therefore um, suppressed during feeding. So if you're feeding yourself five meals a day you don't get human growth hormone naturally. And then you might be wondering, James, but the bodybuilders eat five times a day. They're taking all this crap every day. HGH, they're taking uh, you know, testosterone, or take a trembolone, or take it high doses. This is exactly why they can eat that much every day because it doesn't matter because they're pumping it in. Make sense? You come off of this and you start eating five meals a day, you gain weight. Oh, wow, what a revelation, James. I didn't think about that. When you're on drugs, you lose fat and gain muscle. Very simple to understand. That's why people get so shredded very, very quickly. You can be a novice, be the worst person in the gym as far as working out, you start pumping in HGH and testosterone, all of a sudden you become a mini monster because that's what happens. So your working out skills can suck and you still gain tons of muscle. That's just how it works. And if you're obviously better, like the pros, then you look even bigger and that's, you know, that's how it all works. So you want to do this naturally. So I want people to understand this, that if your choice is to take this unnatural, and you have to keep taking testosterone for the rest of your life as you get older, now you know why. Because you can build the testosterone naturally and the HGH is something, the human growth hormone, that is produced naturally by the pituitary gland and helps with the fasting. The less you eat, where you're eating only basically one meal or max two meals a day, that's where you're going to get all of this uh, uh, that's going to help you. So it doesn't matter if you're eating fruit. Um, you definitely want to make sure you're getting enough zinc where you want to balance out and you're eating enough um, you know, fruits such as blackberries, blueberries, things like that. Um, and you shouldn't have a problem meeting your daily recommended amount of zinc. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, any questions, go ahead and let me know. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.